Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to build a high converting sales cart for your online course. Now, if you're building an online course, you probably already know how important your sales page is. It's where you present all the information and sort of convert your viewer into wanting to buy your product. However, a lot of people don't realize just how important the sales cart is because that's actually the final page they have to go to before they actually click that buy button. So naturally you're missing out on a ton of sales. And the good news is that there's actually really great ways to optimize that sales cart page. I currently host my courses on Kajabi. And while it's a great platform along with any of the other online course hosts, in my opinion, the sales carts just are not that good. And so if you really want to optimize your conversions for your online product, I think it's super smart to get a dedicated sales cart builder. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually build a very, very great sales cart using a platform called Thrivecart. This is the exact platform that I use. And in the description below, I'll actually be putting a link to the exact template that I'm going through. You guys can literally go to that link and copy and paste that exact sales cart that I use for my course. Of course, do some changes, but yeah, it's already built out for you. And the great thing is that with Thrivecart, there's so many other templates and ways to customize your sales cart. So yeah, highly, highly recommend getting something like Thrivecart. Okay. So if you guys use the link down below, it's going to take you to this exclusive landing page where you can actually get a lifetime account to Thrivecart for a really, really low one-time payment. You guys can learn more about Thrivecart 2 by scrolling down. But yeah, what you want to do is click on this. And if you want, you can actually upgrade to the Pro. That's actually what I did. But even if you don't, the Thrivecart lifetime account by itself is awesome. The other link down in the description is actually going to take you to this site. And this is going to be the exact template that I'm going to be showing you in this video. So what you'll want to do is scroll down here. If you guys already have Thrivecart or you just got it, you guys can actually copy this URL and import the design, which I'll show you how to do later on. Or if you don't have Thrivecart already, you'll use this link and you'll be able to get it at that same lifetime discount. Okay, so now that I'm in my Thrivecart account, what I'll do is I'll come here to products and you'll be able to create a new product. Let's name it test product just for this video and then we'll click create product. You'll be able to select if you're doing a digital product or a physical product. So for most of you guys, especially if you do have an online course, it's going to be digital. I'll click create new product and it's going to build that. Here we're going to be able to enter in some information. So we'll enter in the product name. We can actually add a label to you can change the checkout page URL. We'll select the product status. So we'll leave it in test mode for now. But when you are ready for it to go live, you'll click live right there. And then you'll be able to pick the owner of this product. After that, I'll click next here. So first it's gonna have you select what currency you want to sell in. So since we are selling in US dollars, I'll just leave it as is. And then I'll be able to set my product price here, right? And it's great because you can actually add multiple pricing options using Thrivecart. So extremely powerful. Anyways, let's say I want to do a one-time fee for my online course. We'll sell it at, let's say $597. We can set a trial period too if we want. We can limit the quantity available if we want, but I'll just leave those as is and I'll click next. Here you can select from these options, allow one purchase at a time or allow multiple purchases at once. I'll just leave that as is and I'll click save. Of course, we can add more pricing options if you want, but for now, I'm just gonna leave this as is and I'll click next. Thrivecart's amazing because you can actually set up a bump offer on this product. Let's say we wanna do that. We'll confirm it's a digital product and then you can say some type of add-on. So now we'll be able to set the product name for this bump. Let's have it be the pro package or something, right? You can set a price. So let's say an extra $300 and we can include maybe like coaching in this or something. It's going to depend on your product. You can select if you want this bump to be pre-selected by default. I'll click no and then I'll click next here. Next, you'll set up your payment processors. So you can see you can select from Stripe, Authorize.net, PayPal, Apple Pay, as well as Google Pay. So we'll select which ones we want and I'll click save. Then I'll click next right here. And if you do want affiliates to promote this product, since I do have the pro plan, I can actually select this. But for now, I'm just going to skip this. Click next. It's going to bring us to the fulfillment tab. Here you'll be able to input your support URL slash email. You can select what will happen after purchase and then you'll click next. After that, this is the fun part. This is the checkout page. This is where we're going to actually build our sales cart. So since we are building a sales cart, what I recommend doing is choose this one. There are other designs if you want. I recommend you guys to actually take a look at them. And they also have legacy designs too as well. But yeah, for now, we'll select sales cart and we'll click next. From here, we can actually launch the editor to actually change the text, add images and you know change that whole page. Or like I said earlier, you can actually copy the design from another product or import a design. So if you guys want to use the design that I currently use, you guys can actually copy that URL like I did earlier and you'll come here to import a design. You'll then enter in that URL that you copied and click continue. And that's going to import that design. So now that this is imported, you'll actually be able to you know change all these things. I recommend you know 
account don't use the exact same colors and text that I use. Instead, you guys can come here, change the text. It's very, very easy. Up here, you'll have your title. Down here, you'll have some type of tagline. So yeah, for your title, I always recommend having some type of outcome as well as something that removes a mental block for them. So in this case, without quitting your job and then your tagline, you just put some more information that helps them get intrigued by your product. If you want to add some type of timer, you can do that here. You guys can change the text here and here you can select if you want to be an evergreen timer or if you want to be fixed. Of course, we can change the font size. We can change the color of this to anything we want. Over here, you can choose which image you want to use. You can have it one image or you can have two side by side. You can also adjust the spacing and padding if you want. And you can also change the alignment by doing left, center, or right. So let's say we've changed all that stuff. We can actually come down here, change up this. So this is where I basically have everything that's included in this course. We have the check marks, of course. And of course, we have the values of each of these things. That does help sell your product better. Here are dividers that you guys can delete or change. And if you want to put some more information about your course, you can add that right here. And guys, if there's anything here that you don't want, you can actually come here and click that trash can button. That's just going to delete that. Here I have my little bump offer. So if you want to upgrade to the next package, I'll write what that actually gives you. And yeah, this actually works very, very well if you have any online course, but you have an additional package that you want to sell to your clients, then this will actually increase the conversions a lot. Down here, we have the information for the payment processing stuff. You guys can actually change that if you want. I have the button for complete my purchase right here. Of course, I have my little secure SSL encryption and refund guarantee buttons right here. You guys can change these seals if you want. Here we have the total payment. I put that down here, but of course you can change the location if you want. If there's a coupon code, I have a section for that. Testimonials are right here. This is very, very important to include. And then I also include a frequently asked question section, which I definitely recommend having as well. So yeah, for all these, you can edit them very, very easy. For example, for this FAQ, you can come here to set up FAQs. And here is where you're going to actually change the question slash title and then change your answer. So yeah, super, super easy. If there's anything here that you don't want, like I said, you can delete it. Or if there's anything that you do want to include, you can actually come here to the element section and drag that in. So for example, let's say I don't want an image right here. I'll actually delete that. Instead, I want to put a video. So I'll take this, I'll drag that right here. And from here, I can actually choose which video, put the embed code right here. Of course, I'll want to adjust the spacing. Bottom, there seems to be way too much. I can do that. And yeah, tons and tons of stuff you guys can do to customize this. As you can see, this is so much more customizable, way more powerful as a platform than Kajabi, especially with the bumps, you guys. This has made me thousands of dollars. Definitely recommend doing that. After this, you'll click save and exit, and that will be the actual design of your sales cart. There's also lots of cool things you guys can do with behavior rules. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but just know that that option is there. And yeah, like I said, guys, that is not the only design you guys can use with Thrivecart. There's actually a library of different designs you guys can choose from. Let's say I want to go with standard. I'll click on that, come here to design and click launch editor. This is going to change it up a little bit. You guys can see the layout is a little bit different. And yeah, I just encourage you guys look through these templates, change all the colors, change all the text to match your online course. And I guarantee you, this is going to be a much better tool for your sales cart than the built in part on whichever platform you're currently using. Easily some of the best money that I've spent building my course. And yeah, Thrivecart just makes it super, super easy. They're not paying me to do this. I just really want to share this with you guys because I truly believe it is such a powerful tool. So yeah, that is how you build a high converting sales cart for your online course. Like I said earlier, the sales cart is the last page that your potential customer sees before they actually click buy. So it really is important that you have a well-optimized, well converting page. The link to Thrivecart is going to be down below. You guys can get that exclusive lifetime offer. And yeah, I guarantee you it's going to pay for itself. If you guys do want to use the template that I've already made, that link is also going to be down below. You'll simply want to copy that and then paste it when you import the design. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated at giving you guys free guides and tutorials, helping you to start up your business. Thanks for your time. And I'll see you in the next video.